Welcome once again to Tactile Knowledge, and this is yet another team comp lineup I bring to you for the Alolan Cup. Last time we covered the high speed low D strat, so today I'm bringing you what I call the unique abilities team. All of the Pokemon on this team bring special abilities that give them powerful advantages in single format, which is precisely what the Alola Cup is all about. So just to state the obvious, yes, you can bring in Lunala or Solgaleo for your team. So assuming you aren't going to bring one of the, one of them in, this roster lineup I give you can easily have one of these mods replaced with either of them. But enough about that, let's get on with our first contestant for the unique abilities team, Wishy Washy. Stat wise, Wishy Washy is the weakest of all Pokemon, but its unique ability, Schooling, turns Alola's Magikarp into probably one of the strongest non-legendary or even possibly pseudo-legendary status Pokemon of any generation. As long as Wishy Washy can maintain above 25% of its health, it will enter and maintain its school form, supercharging its stats to 5 times what it has in solo form. As for our next star, our next star doesn't rely on its health to use its abilities, but instead relies on its opponent being a physical attacker to benefit from its ability, Mudsdale. What Mudsdale lacks in special attacking power, it more than makes up for in physical attacking and defensive power. Its special ability, Stamina, increases its defensive stats by one stage each time it takes damage from anything, even special attacks. Mudsdale is a powerful hitting tank style Pokemon. It won't win a speed race against most Mons, but it has the stats to outlast most others. Third on the list is of course an Ultra Beast. Any of the Ultra Beasts would make a good candidate, so it's based on the player's preference. However, I personally like Nihiligo for this comp to make use of its very good speed, special attack, and special defense stats. As for its ability, Beast Boost, thanks to how Nihiligo's stats work, you can choose often which stat will be increased when it knocks out an opponent by simple EV training or based on its nature. Fourth on the list is Salazzle, with probably one of the most unique abilities on the team, and perhaps one of the most dangerous for comboing with the fifth member of this lineup. Salazzle's ability Corrosion allows Salazzle to poison any Pokemon, even Steel types and other Poison type Pokemon. Combined with its high speed, high special attack, typing of poison and fire, and you have the makings of an ideal sweeper, or a Pokemon to set up Toxic for our next member, Toxapex. Toxapex is the definition of a tank. Toxapex is slow and has extremely high defenses, some of the highest in the game. Combined with its typing and Toxapex has a very high number of type resistance, with a total of them being 8. As for its ability, Merciless allows Toxapex to guarantee critical hits on opponents that are poisoned and are not protected by the abilities Battle Armor, Shell Armor, or protected by the move Lucky Chant. With the combination of stats, resistances, and ability, Toxapex is probably one of the most dangerous of these Pokemon if given even some support. Our final member is the ultimate Pokemon to set up for sweeps or deal heavy damage, Mimikyu. Mimikyu's stats makes it an ideal physical attacker, and while it only has a 3 immunities and 1 resistance, it only has 2 weaknesses. As for its ability, Mimikyu's Disguise allows it to have a free move as any damage it takes, even from mighty Z moves, will simply destroy the Disguise, leaving Mimikyu unharmed and free to set up any moves it wishes. Essentially, this means Mimikyu gets a free substitute without having to sacrifice any health or requiring it to use a move to set up the substitute. This team composition uses some of the strongest abilities found in Sun and Moon. However, you may find another Pokemon or its ability suits your playstyle or even preference. Comment down below about what you'd use for this team comp, or even if you have a different style in mind. The Alolic Battle Cup is only a week away, and until then, I will keep coming back with my team ideas as I think about them. So subscribe for more and stay tuned. Until then, my fellow tacticians, this is your Fedora Rangrashi Ram saying, Alola!